What's up y'all, it's your girl, Dr. Nina, and today we are talking those 10 things that I use to smell good all day long. Now, we're talking body odor and reducing that, also ways to help your skincare. But first off, I urge us to get in touch with ourselves and know what we consider to be pleasant. For one person, they might wanna smell like a bucket of roses. I, on the other hand, like to just have a nice, natural, and neutral overall scent by the time I get home because I don't wanna offend myself or others. You can my drift. Now, body odor is quite important to me because my body has been through a lot of ups and downs. And baby, let me tell you, we have come a long way. So with aging, your needs change, right? Not only that, you guys know that I've lost and kept off over 100 pounds. And that in itself with body changes and body sizes and clothing and all of that stuff, your needs change and your smell and scent changes. So today, whether you want to take on those bucket of roses or if you just want to smell smell nice and natural and just not be offensive, <laughs> then today we're going to talk about how to make that last all day long and the steps we take to get there. So this video is not exhaustive because I have so many videos linked down below on individual body parts, including your thighs, your growing, your armpits, everything. Yo girl got you hooked up. So check that out. But today is really focused just on those 10 general things that I practice almost daily to make sure that I smell good. So make sure you check Check out those videos but also I want to make sure y'all sound off and comment down below yes I'm asking you what are some of the things that you use in order to smell better and to also increase the chances that you'll have a better overall scent so all the items I talk about can be found down below in the information section and let me say this y'all if you're experiencing a body odor that won't go away or a scent that's unusual make sure you take your butt to the doctor now let's get into this And y'all, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like it, comment, share, and subscribe. And also click on those notification bells so you can know when I upload on Thursdays and Sundays. Make sure you also check out my Now That's Life podcast, which is now live. And you can check it out on all your major podcasting platforms. Links to my podcast can be found down below in the information section. So the first thing y'all is to understand what your own body scent is and what you're actually covering up. And the reason why I say covering up is because from the time you're a little kid till you grow up, we're taught to put things on that are going to protect us from this scent that might be coming. But for some of us, we might not even have that much of a natural scent. It's important that we know what that scent is. So for my ladies, I always tell you guys to get in touch with your vagina. God forbid I say that in this video, right? Vagina. Uh, I always tell you to to understand your own natural discharge levels, to also understand your natural scent. It's the same thing with your overall body, right guys? Know it without anything added to it so that you know what its natural needs are. So what I've done in the past is take a shower and not for three to four hours, so about three to four hours, I put nothing on. With this, you get to find out what your natural scent is unaltered. What is it? it might not be that much, it might not be that little, and it might be stronger, but then you know what you should be placing on your body to help it or to help enhance it. The next thing is to shower and get to those hot spots daily. As we know, sweat is not the reason for smell per se. It's when sweat mixes with bacteria on the skin that causes a natural odor. Try to shower at least once a day to take care of those areas. <laughs> Basically what you eat and how much you shower can definitely affect the way that you smell. You can't do much about genetics, but you definitely can do a lot about your cleanliness and making sure that you have a bomb shower routine, okay? Now, making sure that you hit those armpits, the belly button, between your legs, your butt, behind the ears. These are hot spots. You wanna make sure you hit those areas that can get louder with time. And you wanna make sure you're taking a shower. Now, while that might have to do with your activity levels and your skin type, do you have oily, dry, whatever, you still wanna make sure you keep that in mind. And sometimes I might even engage in taking a bath, but it's not my favorite thing to do. I take more showers 
hours than not. But I'm making sure that I wash my genital areas with my hands in a pH balanced wash. You could also just go with water and lukewarm water at that because we ain't burning our skin off, but making sure you take care of that. And major key alert, y'all have asked me, with using your hands to wash your genitals and your butt area, do you use the bathroom before? Yes, I try to make sure that I always use the toilet before I get into the shower. This wipes away any remnants or debris that I don't necessarily want on these fingers. The next thing is to use a deodorant or antiperspirant and not just for your pits. These things can be formulated to use in different areas of the body. And just as an example, y'all know back in the day, even before my weight loss, I was a 35 H cup. Yes, my boobs, they were pretty big. And so underneath, sometimes they can carry a musty smell. And I used to put a little deodorant there just to help a little bit. And it really did increase and help with my overall body scent. And I also use it in areas Areas that have folds of the body that really help to keep it from rubbing together. I like to make sure that I carry around some traditional deodorant to make sure that I can pull it out in my office or in my purse, those types of things so that I never run out of the chance to be as fresh as possible when needed. Hair does collect on bodily secretions. Now I believe in doing what you do, do you boo? You do not have to shave those armpits, but I like to do that and keep that low because it keeps the level of odor down. That hair can hold on to those bodily secretions secretions. Another thing that I've been known to do is to take a little bit of clear dowel soap and wash underneath my arms. Those of you all that have hydrotinitis superativa have probably done this, but it cuts down on the level of bacteria there. The other thing is making sure that you're aware of the things in deodorants versus antiperspirants. Keep in mind that a deodorant really does cut down on the bacteria level on the skin so that it cuts down on the body odor, while an antiperspirant is just that. It cuts back and it blocks the sweat gland to keep you from having so much sweat occurring. Now, a lot of the research out there does show that a lot of antiperspirants and deodorants that have a lot of bad chemicals in them can be carcinogens and cause cancer or other diseases or disorders. But you wanna keep them as natural as possible, free of parabens, talc, and even other chemicals that can be harmful to your body. Another hack is to make sure that you take the time to make sure that you've rubbed it in properly. I don't just put on the deodorant, but I like to make sure that I've rubbed it in nicely to make sure that my skin accepts it and takes in the benefits of it. And if you're interested in my own deodorant that I've made on camera before, I'm just gonna quickly remind you of the things that are in it and how to make it quickly. So I just use baking soda, cornstarch or organic arrowroot powder, unrefined organic coconut oil, Oil, essential oils, I like grapefruit oil or tea tree oil or any citrus oil. And all you add is about 20 drops of that to the mixture, mix it up really nicely, let it sit. I usually keep this in a container for up to three to six months, depending on how much I use it, but it needs to be in an airtight container like a mason jar. The next thing is you wanna make sure that you keep your body deodorized in many other ways. I like to carry scented or fresh wipes or all natural wipes with me so that I'm able to spruce up wherever I am. You are always and constantly hugging people or around people People, you want to make sure that those areas are good and fresh so make sure that you wipe those as well and avoid excess polyester and spandex according to research it can collect bacteria and odor and that's why a lot of the clothes that we used to work out in that's why I wash so often because a lot of those are actually formulated in a way that holds on to a lot of body scent and odors the other thing is to make sure that you stretch out the life of your scents by making sure that you layer on some nice lotions creams, butters, and oils. I like to make sure that I do this right out of the shower. Did y'all know, and let me know if you did down below and click like if you did, that a little bit of moistness in the skin helps those products to stay on longer. Now, when, the reason why I towel blot is because I don't wanna dry out my skin, but also your products that you put on after that seep in a little bit better and also they collect and generate a nice scent across your skin a little bit better as well. Now, if you like the scent that you have, like I have perfumes that I love best and I like to layer on some of the oils, creams, and butters that the manufacturers sell with them. The reason why is because
because it makes my scent last throughout the day. Now, while y'all know me to be mostly an all natural girl and I love my natural lotions, oils, butters, and creams, I also love me some amazing perfumes. And there are two that I really like to keep on rotation and one being Flower Bomb, the other being Gucci Envy Me. Hmm, smelling like a whole snack. The reason why I love these is because they mix with my natural body chemistry and body scent. And you want things that work with you. They're a nice, sweeter, but kinder tone, not pungent. I also put these on my pulse points on my body. When you put them on your pulse points, it helps to mix with the body's natural chemistry. I've also learned over the years that you don't want to rub it in. You want to resist, resist that urge to rub it in because you want it to bloom over the course of the day. So if you're confused on where those pulse points are, let me tell you about them. Those are the back of your neck, the crook of your elbow, your wrists, the small of your back, and behind the knees, believe it or not. And if you also want to go a less price invasive route, you can get a lot of the scents that you like and adore in roller balls, which helps you stretch the life and also put the scents exactly where you want them to go. And y'all, you don't have to go with scents at all. You can also go unscented. All deodorants, even your facial washes, your sunscreens, all of those can be without scent altogether. Y'all also keep in mind that washing your face is not just all you need to do when washing your face. You need to be washing behind those ears. Also making sure you're keeping that upper neck clean, unclogging those pores, keeping products from around your face and your hair area. You also want to keep the hair clean. Your face is only a central area, but there's a lot of areas around your face like your ears and all of this that can carry odors and scents. So be aware of that. A key part in taking care of yourself and making sure that odor is down is taking care of that breath and those teeth. Y'all, you need to make sure that you're brushing at least twice a day for two minutes each time. My dentist has hammered that into me because you wanna make sure you're getting each side of the mouth equally and making sure that all of the teeth have had the chance to be brushed. You're getting rid of plaque and tartar that can be damaging to the teeth and cause gingivitis and have you having a whole halitosis mess. You also wanna make sure that you're flossing daily and flossing correctly. When you get particles of food in between the teeth and you go to sleep and you wake up, guess what? You have rotting breath because you have food and remnants and particles that are rotting in between your teeth causing tooth decay. So be very careful about that and make sure that you drink water because when you have dry mouth it actually helps your breath smell bad. Make sure that you're going to regular dental checkups because when you don't you're not allowing a professional to see your teeth so that they don't know <laughs> what's going on in your mouth. Also get rid of them toothbrushes that you've had since the fifth grade. I know it's cute and you like little Miss Sally walker on the end of your toothbrush but i've gone into some bathrooms and i've been like at disdain with some of the toothbrushes that i've seen first off they're not covered secondly they just look like they've been there for way too long bristles all folded back and stuff y'all know what i'm talking about get you some upgrades on those toothbrushes and get it together with that the next thing might seem like common sense, but make sure that you're keeping up with your washing regimen of your clothes. I work out all the time, so this is a no question. I cannot let clothes pile up, especially sweaty ones for a very long time. They smell like death. Do y'all hear me? So I like to make sure that I'm washing either every day or every other day, depending on how much I've been working out. But also this applies to your sheets on your bed. Make sure that you're washing your linen about once a week. And if you're having a problem cutting odors, make sure that you may be washed with a cup of vinegar and essential oils, just a few drops of like tea tree or even your citrus scents of essential oils. This really helps to cut odor a lot. And if you want to get past that as well, make sure you put like scented satchels in when you fold your laundry or put it in your drawers or even in your closet. This helps a lot. And if you don't want scented satchels, just take like a piece of paper, like a paper towel and spray it with some Febreze or something like that and sit it in your closet. Y'all, it works like a charm. So give it a try and you'll find that you find a little bit more freshness. You also want to make sure that you're taking care of your genitals and your precious lamb ladies. Make sure that you are washing it correctly and not overly washing it which can also cause issues with infections and things of that sort. I just did a video on this, so I'm not gonna go in great details. You also wanna make sure you change your underwear regularly because you shouldn't be wearing old drawers and you also shouldn't just be wearing old drawers. Also washing your pants, y'all. Your pants, 
pants and your jeans can all carry odor especially those tight jeans which you shouldn't be wearing as much anyway but you need to be keeping those clean so that your area stays nice and clean so y'all I want to leave you with some general cleansing as well as some body odor tips because there's some things that go overlooked like earring bags how many of you all know what earring bags smell like they can smell like death if they go uncleansed okay so I like to make sure that I disinfect those with a little bit of witch hazel or isopropyl alcohol and just let them sit in there at least weekly to get rid of body secretions just make sure that you're cleaning your earrings because nobody wants to smell death when they go to hug you the next thing is to also make sure that you're cleaning your hair regularly for people like me who work out a lot that's important make sure you're shampooing your scalp as well as conditioning your hair it may be a great idea to make sure that you're cutting down on your tight clothing wearing because a lot of this constricts body areas that could be at risk for infection especially like your belly button it can get moisture in it and cause yeast infections within it that also smell pretty bad and if you do catch an infection you need to go to the doctor and make sure that you get an ointment in order to heal that up properly and keep that area nice and dry you should also try wearing naturally occurring fibers like silk wool or even cotton these are going to be more breathable and allow your skin the air that it needs to air out and you might want to avoid spicy foods and other foods like broccoli, garlic, onions, all the stuff that I like and cut down on that because it can cause a more pungent odor. And with your feet, it's more than just washing them. I know that feet are a beautiful thing, but when they smell, they smell bad. So make sure that you're wearing breathable socks and also get shoes with leather lining. You want your shoes to air out daily so you don't want to wear them back to back. And also you should be getting either regular pedicures or doing your own or using a pumice stone. Did you know that that thick skin on your feet actually can help carry odor? When it comes out of your shoes or it goes in other places, it collects things which can cause it to smell bad. And also stay out of your shoes when you can, actually when you're indoors. I don't really go outside with bare feet, but stay indoors with your shoes off so that your feet are not constricted. And last but certainly not least, if you're experiencing an odor that won't go away or something that's unusual, go see the doctor. So I hope today's video has been beneficial. We are stepping up and stepping out with better scents and no odor, y'all. And it's okay to have a natural body scent and it's okay to allow yourself to smell what that's like. But also you should be in control of that and helping yourself to be the best you can be. It'll help you feel better, look better, and be better. So make sure that you comment, share this video with someone who can use it and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching guys. Beautiful brown baby doll. Peace. Special thanks to Jason Bowie of Trinity Media Solutions for co-producing and filming today's video. His information can be found down below in the information section. Thanks so much for all the love and support over on my new website. If you haven't already, go ahead and check it out and join me for new ways to interact with me, giveaways and prizes, weekly emails, as well as my free eight day supernatural video course, which is free when you sign up.